In this snip, we're going to look at how to import a CSV into Trello. On screen, I've got a sample CSV file where each row indicates a card that I want to be imported into a Trello board. I have a column indicating which board I want these cards to be loaded onto, and a column indicating the lists on that board that I want them separated into. The rest of the information on here is simply the title of the card and whether or not the card itself has been completed or not. I've got a Trello board ready to go. Notice that the name of my board matches what was in the board column and each list along this page matches the lists that were included in my CSV file. To import the CSV, we're going to use a service called Import to Wizard, and you can get there by going to wizard.import2.com. So we need to sign up for a free account, enter your name, email address, and choose a strong password. Next, you need to add a connection, and for us, that will be Trello. You'll need to be already logged into Trello, otherwise you'll be asked to sign in and then click allow to authorize this connection. Then start a new import. We'll be importing to Trello and we're going to be importing cards. Then we choose our CSV file and it's going to take a moment to upload and process the data contained in that file. Once the file has been processed, click continue and then you need to start mapping the data from your CSV file to fields that match in Trello. So the important ones to start with are the board, and these are under lookup fields. And you can look up a board by name or URL or ID if you happen to know the ID. I'll leave this as name. Next. I'll match the lists, and again I'll match lists based on name. If you know the ID you could use that instead. And now I can start mapping my data. So for me I have a title which will match the name of my card, and then I also have a completed field which indicates true or false, which I will map to closed. Now that I'm satisfied with my mappings, I click Start Import. And I can head back to Trello and wait for this import to start. When it has started, we'll see cards start to populate on my board. It's about a minute later and we now have cards importing into our Trello board. This import is only about 200 cards but it will still take a little bit of time. Import to Wizard indicates that it might take about an hour per 10,000 records. And you'll remember that in our CSV we marked some of these cards as already being completed, and we can see those by going to Menu, More, and looking at Archived Items. As you can see, there is a number of archived cards and these are simply because they've been marked as completed through our mapping. That's been how to import data into Trello from a CSV file. Thank you for watching.